Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we are continuing our look into Candela. You guys know how this goes by now. We are in part two of our look of Candela. And in part two, we are going to make a brand new cocktail. What do you got for us? So, if you follow us on Instagram, you already know that I teased this earlier this week. And that was the fact that I was going to use Shinola mm-hmm. in this cocktail. Mm-hmm. Because that was the first thing that came to mind when I was wondering about, you know, what to mix this stuff with. Right. And that was more or less everything that that that's gonna be pretty much the entirety of the cocktail. Not too much, but you know, the Candela and the Chinola, they're gonna be the bulk of the cocktail. Mm -hmm. I figured simple was better this time around, Mm -hmm. so we could go in that direction. Plus also, you know, the Candela website, where they show you the recipes, Mm -hmm. there is a cocktail that this passion fruit juice. Mm-hmm. So I already know that passion fruit and the candela can go together. Okay. And now I'm thinking, well, why not just juice? Why don't we go all the way and use a whole other liquor mm-hmm. around passion fruit? Okay. And Chinola came up. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're gonna do. And also it was an excellent excuse to buy a brand new bottle of Chinola because, yeah. because we burned through that. <laughs> <laughs> so we killed it, then set it on fire. <laughs> um, so first we're going to start off with the juice of half a lime, mm-hmm. as you saw me do before. Mm-hmm. And next what we're going to do, now at first I wasn't going to use any simple syrup mm-hmm. because the Chinola in and of itself is really sweet. Mm-hmm. And the Candela is sweet as well. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to I wanted to add a specific flavor mm-hmm. to this concoction that I'm making mm-hmm. that I feel you can't get with either of these of these drinks. Right. So I did a a simple syrup, a cinnamon simple syrup. Okay. And what I'm hoping is, because not only is the Chinola sweet, it's also tart, mm-hmm. which doesn't really help because I put the juice of half a lime in there. Yeah, so. But I'm hoping the cinnamon simple syrup will cut that tartness mm-hmm. and add that extra. There's a, I don't know how to describe it. There's a, there's an extra thing I want to put in this flavor that you that it's close with the candela Mm -hmm. but not quite there i feel the cinnamon will will bring that out plus cinnamon and passion fruit go hand in hand okay so next we will do as soon as i break free this bottle we will do Mm-hmm. Candela. Mm-hmm. How much are we talking? We're gonna do a full ounce. Okay. And what I also want from the Candela is that color. Yeah, the Chinola. I want I want the color from the Chinola. Right. Last but not least, we will do three ounces of our candela. Yeah, that's something I noticed on the website. Every drink that Candela has, you start off with three ounces of it, no matter what. So they they want you dead. By the time. <laughs> 
<laughs> because enough of that alcohol will surely make sure that that happens. But a but a, a knife kind of dead, not like. <laughs> Candela isn't that strong, is it? Okay. Add our ice. Now we're going to shake. It's good, really good. I think the only flaw I say flaw, but that might honestly be a matter of opinion. I'm only getting lime and chinola. I can't taste the cinnamon and I can't taste the candela. But it's delicious. And is it is it tart? Yes, it's tart. Like, very tart. No, not very tart. Because that was what I was trying to avoid. I think the simple syrup did what you wanted it to do. But it just made it... It, it made it a sweet. So I do taste... This is going to sound weird. I taste the chinola back up in here. Mm -hmm. It's tart, but not overwhelmingly tart. Mm -hmm. I think the overall sweetness of all of those ingredients balance it out. Mm -hmm. See, I get chinola up front. I get lime up front. I'm sorry, I meant candela. I mm -hmm. taste the candela. You know, Candela has that, that woody bark funk. Mm -hmm. I can very well taste it mm -hmm. back up in here. I'm not getting it. That's me. The lime, the lime and Candela are so up front. The lime and Chinola. Chinola, I'm sorry. Those are up front. It's still but delicious. I still taste I still taste the candela. Mm -hmm. I can taste that that funk from mm -hmm. the candela. Yeah, now as I get down in there I taste Oh there's more candela in you. Mm -hmm. Like swish it around, like you'll taste it on the sides of your tongue. Up to an ounce. Yeah, it's there. I see that. This is one of those drinks that's got a layer quality to mm -hmm. it. Still good.
the cinnamon pull that bump from the um candela. Mm -hmm. Actually, oh, you mean pull it, pull it to the front? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say actually, it's bringing it up. But that's the same thing. Yeah, it's tempered the lime. Mm -hmm. It's tempered the tartness in general. It made it made that candela more visible. So slightly adjusted that, but we got what we wanted. Mm -hmm. So what would you do? Add another instead of a half ounce of the simple syrup, a full ounce of the simple syrup. Okay. Yeah, that's actually it's better. Not that not that the original recipe was bad, but that's that's so much better now. But this is what we do. We experiment. We mess around with stuff to you know try to get the perfect flavor. Mm -hmm. So what are we gonna name this? <sighs> that is where I struggle because I'm thinking sunsets and beach beaches and. So I, I can't remember what you call it. It's in Miami. Mm -hmm. uh, the beachside strip or whatever. Uh, like you, you. The one time that we went there, the area where the beach is and all of the restaurants and shopping centers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what you call it. It's a strip or something. I guess a sunset strip or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's the name of a cocktail bar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that too. Um, what is that season between spring and summer? Does it exist? <laughs> Unofficially. <laughs> but um, I don't know what you would call that. Um... I guess we call this one Between Spring and Summer. Oh, the name is Between Spring and Summer. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. Between Spring and Summer. That's the more beach cut. season. Beach season. Mm -hmm. Both of those names sound really great. Like beach it. season it is. Yeah. I like beach season. Cause I can, cause that's the perfect drink to stick a, mm -hmm. a umbrella in. And, and 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 there you go. That's your garnish. That's your garnish. One of those silly umbrellas. Mm -hmm. I don't have those because I don't know where they are sold at here in various liquor stores and accoutrement shops. Mm -hmm. You can find them. It's not that hard. Hell, Walmart probably has them. Yeah, that bumped up. And that bumped up dramatically. Mm -hmm. So, with that said, that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Mm -hmm. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content that's coming to the channel. Also, check us out on Instagram and Twitter. <sighs> Should I even say the next thing? Just if you have a liquor, spirit, liqueur, mm -hmm. Some type, and I know liquor and spirit is the same thing. Shut up. <laughs> Beer, wine, a tasty snack or a dessert. Uh, I like steaks, so if you have any of that and you want to share, tell us where to get it. You know, hit us up in our DMs. Tell us how we can get access to it. If you can send it to, if you can send it to us, you know that would be much appreciated as well. I love taking the mail. If we can give you a shout out and be like, this is what such and such sent us, and this person exactly. is better than you. We're talking about steaks in the mail. Uh, Omaha Steakhouse is, it, is that what it is? Omaha Steaks or whatever. Omaha Steaks. Uh, yeah, holler at you. Holler at us. Yeah, like maybe we'll, you know, say good things about you <laughs> <laughs> in exchange for steaks. <laughs> Well, well, probably even better thing about you be thin of liquor. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also too, 
Um, we go places. Mm -hmm. We will be going places soon. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, at the end of the month, we got something planned for you, content-wise. Uh, but if there are places you want us to go to, restaurants, bars, uh, distilleries, uh, fuck, food trucks. Or maybe a bar that's a distillery. Yeah, a bar that's a distillery. Or brewery. We don't discriminate against beer. Yeah, we, we love beer too. Let us know. You know what? You know what I'm going to throw in that mix? Uh, seafood restaurants. I'm oh, going to yeah. bomb seafood restaurants that serve nice drinks. Let us know. Yeah, I, I let it be made aware of on the gram, which you guys should be following us on. Yeah. That, that we are a fan of seafood. And, and we mentioned it. We'll go to our steaks too. If it's a nice steakhouse, let us know. All that stuff. If it's near you, if it, if even if it's in Atlanta and you think we haven't gone yet, fuck. If we have gone to it, we'll go, we'll again. go again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go again just to put content on the channel. Uh, let us know. Send us in our DMs where you think we might some places we might enjoy and some places that might have things that we might like. But that'll do it for this episode. And until next time. Peace.